Hey, good morning. Nice day out here. I'm uh, working on the drill press here. This is the drill press that was uh, left out in a recovery yard and rusted up. And um, moving the head uh, back and forth, you know, with the rust and everything, it uh, has uh, gotten some scratches in the ways here. So I'm going to take this scraper and I'm going to go over, it's not a way scraper, it's just for deburring. And uh, I just braised a, a piece of carbide um, onto the end of a, this piece of metal. And um, I round the corners off on this so it doesn't dig in. But like, it, it's not for scraping ways, it's for removing burrs. And so I'm going to get the burrs off these scratches here first. Okay. So I, I want to move the head forward. So I'm just going to touch these scratches up here. I can feel it catching them. Unfortunately, it's got some contamination in there. That there's not a lot I can do about it. Yeah, I can feel that. It takes both hands to do this. There we go. Just shaving off the ridge of the scratches. And I'll get the camera close here and you can see them. See what I'm doing. Right there, right along there. Okay, I'll get the camera loose here. Okay, see if I get the light right, you can see those scratches. And I've got my little tiny hand scraper here, and this works real good. And I can just kind of go along go along those. I got the worst of it with the double handled thing or the long handled thing. Yeah, see? Okay. Now the next step, let me set this here where I can find it. So it's going to roll away there. Here we go. Get up here. Up, up. There we go. Now I got a little, um, little bit of kerosene right here. And uh, that's uh, a uh, hard Arkansas stone. So now I'm going to go over those uh, those uh, scratches, and I can feel them. Not very much, because I knocked them down. I hope you can see my scratches. <laughs> I hope your scratches aren't as bad. <laughs> and maybe you can see a little bit of rust still left on here, kind of cloudy, reddish. We'll get that off there. It takes a while. Okay, I don't feel any problems there. There's no scratches up on top. It all happened down here. Okay. Yeah, there's just no problem there. Okay, set the stone, put it back in there so it soaks, might need it some more. And uh, I'm gonna take this kerosene rag here and wipe it down. Okay. Now, let's get up here and look at it. And uh, I'm gonna run that scraper along there. I don't think there's any problem here. There's a deep scratch here that's been there for a long time and I, I took that off. So that's all good. Now, let's squirt some oil on it. Get some oil coming out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Oh, flop everything everywhere. You know, smear that around. Oh, it's so nice. Okay. Wipe that all excess off. You see, I cleaned up the handle here. Let's uh, let's crank her back. If we can. Whoop! Oh, it came out. I didn't get it locked in. Uh oh. Hold on. I'll get you back up here. I have an unexpected problem. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I can get that back in. And of course, I don't have the proper tool. We'll see. Get that back in there if I can. There we go. There's a set screw here that it didn't have right. John doesn't quite want to do it though. There we go. Yeah, I got something hung up in there now. Yeah, okay. I found it. There it is. It's a ball bearing out of the bearing that I uh, had to burn out of here. So I'm going to go ahead and move it forward now. I think that's what it was. That's still hitting something. That's, uh, I got a, that bearing. I actually see it. It's, uh, it's rolling, but it hits the part that I burned. Let's get her over and see if I can knock that completely out. This is live and real, folks. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to have to get it clear to the end. I think the shell of the bearing is clicking on the rack. But we'll get this all the way to the end. Okay. Get you over here again. Uh, all right. I'll push this back a little. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Now that we've got this exposed here. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Maybe I can get... That's not looking too bad. We'll clean that up. Get back over here. And maybe... We can look all the way down there. Well, you see the gear, the gear back in there. Let's see if I can get a little flashlight on that. I don't know if you can see below the gear. Try to get that flashlight. You can maybe see that bearing. See the ball sticking out of it. Let me click this on one more. I 
I'm trying to look through the camera and see if I can see it. Below the gear is a ball bearing. And that's what this uh, head glides on. I'm going to kind of move it about. Maybe you can see that. So what I got to do is when I get it inside, I sure hope, yeah, I think you can maybe see that below the gear. Okay, I'm going to have to slide the head off the machine. Let me get back and kind of look at this mess here. Whoa! On a tilty pallet here. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to have to slide the head off and support it and change those bearings. And what the head's gliding on now is the lock. So let me see if I can get back over there without falling over here. Here we go. So here's the lock. And it lifts the head up and locks the head on this taper down here. Right down there. I'll get to the end. So the lock pushes down on this uh, piece of metal. Let's get over, back over there. 